Hello. Hello. It has been a minute since we played Project Zomboid. So I decided to start a new game, but I didn't... I wasn't quite sure initially what I wanted to do. So I decided, you know, we're just going to make a character and go with the theme. So meet our boy, Chuck. Chuck Upham. <laughs> he's unemployed and he's homeless. So really the apocalypse is probably the best thing that's ever going to happen to him. He is a slow healer, smoker, and slow reader. But he's an optimist. He's an outdoorsman. And he has some cook basic cooking skill. And he's a quick learner. And well being... <laughs> Living in a storage unit is taught to be pretty organized. We are in Bedford Falls, and we just have the basic stuff that we were able to get our hands on here. So, you know, just a few little basic things, and whatever I was able to cram into this box, and getting him in, into this storage unit. So first things that are on the agenda, of course, is going to be getting supplies and, yeah. We got a little bit of food, but not a whole lot. Other basic supplies we're going to need, and hopefully nearby, a reliable source of water, maybe. Okay, well, there's a microwave in here. We could actually cook in here. If we end up wanting to continue to use the storage units as a initial base. But, uh... Yeah, we had to schwack a few zombies just to get in this place. But... Reliable source of water is really door to nowhere, Bedford Falls. <laughs> I guess I better go grab the crowbar then. Nice thing about living in a storage unit, there's plenty of tools nearby. <laughs> Old bad luck Chuck may be down on his luck, but he's gonna make the best of this apocalypse. Let's see if we can get these garage doors open, see what's inside. Oh, hello, friend. That was not very cash money of you. Shouldn't have come at me like that. Alright, alright. Well, there's some clothing items. fitness stuff. We'll keep note of that for later. Oh, that's in really bad shape. Otherwise, I'd take it. Alright, we can learn some herbal remedies. I'll definitely have to remember that those pipes are there. Television. Oh, a lot of these are just not in good shape. Or just not very good at weapons period <laughs> at being weapons, period. Yeah, so far this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. So we're definitely gonna... 
make a mark that this place has some good stuff. Thread? Yes, please. Fishing gear? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see what else is by Hello, Mr. Jerry Can. Hey, well, you know, when all else fails, have some dog food. Okay, get some skill magazines, excellent. Hey, another empty canteen. We can use that to uh, store a little bit of water for us. Saw, another hammer. We'll take uh, one of those trowels. I'm definitely going to go throw these tools back in the storage unit real quick. Before we move on to trying to loot anywhere else. Old Chuck is going to need... He's going to need these tools. If we want to... Turn this storage unit into a little hobo palace. He's going to need them. Let's go ahead and for now I'm just going to throw most of the stuff that I looted in here. I can organize all of that later. At least all the tools and such. We'll keep the crowbar on us, because uh, we need it to pry open locked doors. Damn, it takes forever. There we go. There we go. And we'll start throwing all the literature in a separate thing here. And you know what? This will be tentative storage for all that stuff. And then... Kind of do some basic level of organizing here. Alright. Back out into the fray, alright? We need, we need stuff. It ain't just gonna magically appear into our hands. We gotta go out and seek it if we wanna survive. Hey, what's on the TV? <laughs> Nothing, of course. Hey, cigarettes, we need those. We always need those. Let's get that door open. Come on. This one just don't want to give up. Proud open chuck. There we go. It's a jackpot. This is a jackpot. Um, 
I mean, hey, that's pretty good. Mechanics books, one, two, and three. Couple tarps. Let's see what else we got in here. A lot of vehicle parts so far. <laughs> A lot of vehicle parts, no vehicle. Hmm. We'll keep that in mind for later. Perish. Bow. Demons and beasts. Hang on, Zambonis. by the smell of dead bodies. <laughs> Nothing I can see so far that I really want to take off of these guys. Yeah. Can we get into here? No. We cannot get into there. I mean, I could find an axe and probably just chop that door down once I'm a little more confident that this general area is cleared out. Let's see what the... Ah! Chair. Blocked by the chair. Was it a furniture store? It's just chairs. Chairs, chairs, and more chairs. Oh, it is an actual it is actually a furniture store. Alright. Well, you know that explains some things. You know, I, I literally chose Bedford Falls as our starting point just because this is probably like the map in this mod list that I'm least familiar with. Okay, we got a good little group over there. Let's, uh... Maybe let them pass. Oh, one of them's coming over here at least. Alright, bring it. I'm not gonna let you zombies push me around. This is the era of the hobo. I knew there was another one. Get your ass over here. See another. Alright, let's check all the bodies. And 
Nothing I really want. Oh, a new friend. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Well. You know, maybe if you didn't have that ye uh, haircut, you wouldn't have gotten uh, turned into a zombie. Just saying. Liquor store? It's every hobo's dream. Uh, attached to back. There we go. Fanta Red. Delicious strawberry Fanta. Eat. Eat to your heart's content, my son. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Don't break down the doors, please. I'm gonna need you to come right over here to where I've got this neat little pile of your friends. I love when they get busy eating a corpse because they don't hear you walking up on them. And they don't hear you walking up on them. And they get complacent. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I've already turned into a ranting and raving hobo. I've I've gotten too in character. Gotten way too in character. Okay, well we got some smokes and we've got What do we got? What do we got? A twenty two pistol? I'm not touching that thing. Uh, alright, a little magazine for it. Well, you know, that's pretty useless for right now, but we will hold on to it anyways. You never, you never know. You never know. Might come in handy. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, a delicious Dr. Pepper. Some packets of instant noodles, more snowballs and sunflower seeds. Really concentrating on the stuff that's going to have a decent amount of calories to keep our boy uh, well fed. I mean, if we start getting desperate for food, we will come back here and loot stuff like licorice. Sir, you are not welcome here. Alright. I will take those matches, though. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Really? Concentrate first on the uh, calorie rich foods. That's the. That's the play. All right. A whole package of Twinkies? They're being attracted by the by the freaking bodies. That uh, got a little dicey. Some random 223 ammo? Okay. And a key. I don't know what it's for, but I'll take it.
All right, come here, big guy. Let's get you all kind of out of my way a little bit. Where'd you come from? Don't panic. Don't panic, Chuck. Last thing you need to do is panic. It's just some zombies. They just want to eat you. You've got a crowbar. You're the apex predator here. Alright, this, this is just like fighting, uh... Fighting all the local crackheads away from your favorite dumpster, Chuck. Alright? It's exactly like fighting all the local crackheads away from your favorite dumpster. Heck, I think some of these are the local crackheads. Come on. Come on, Baldy. Oh, Chuck's getting a little tired. I'd like to keep him up longer, though, so we don't get on a... The typical thing with any Zomboid playthrough, where I end up getting on just a god-awful sleep schedule and just... Being up three quarters of the night doing nothing, and then, uh... Only being... Being able to keep my guy awake for... A uh, portion of of the daylight that we got. Oh, all right. Well, first off, where's my smokes? Time for the union mandated smoke break. Are you unlocked? You are unlocked. Okay, I'll take that empty canteen. But unless I find a key, I'm not going to be able to, uh, start it until I can get the the skills <laughs> nothing nothing worth taking oh Jesus oh buddy This is not a good day. This is not a good look. All right. Don't panic, Chuck. Come on. Keep it together. I don't like fighting when I'm tired like this, but I don't have a lot of choice, looks like. I'd like to, you know, get all the body piles as far as possible from my, from my little storage unit fortress.
Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that 1911 and magazine. Some chocolate. Some matches. Damn it. I see we got more comers. Somebody else wants a peach piece of old bad luck chuck. These ones should be a little easier for us to bamboozle. Don't panic. Alright. We're good, we're good. We lived, and yet not a sink in sight so far to refill our canteens with. But we've got at least somewhat secure shelter. Keyword, at least somewhat. Let's get at least a decent amount of this stuff offloaded. Skittles, Twinkies, Snowballs, Chips. Uh, where was that that I was putting on my literature? Right here. My literature. So we can eventually become not, not quite so shit at everything. I'm going to slowly start moving all the food, like the food and drink, over to its own container here, but can't be arsed right now. Cherry Coke, cereal, Kit Kat, ramen packets, living like a king. Let's, uh, have some peanuts. And then do a little light reading before we knock out. Speed! Alright, we read that one with the quickness. We'll go at, for now we'll just stick the ones we've already read in here that we'll use them for uh, fire material eventually. Alright, it is a little only a little after five, but we'll let our boy sleep anyways. Alright, well, it's still one in the morning. We'll go ahead and get up, get something to eat, have a wake up smoke. Have a wake up smoke and contemplate our life. We're living in a living in a storage unit. We we're homeless. And now the apocalypse is happening. Everybody everybody's a dang old Zamboni. So, I doubt it, but there is water 
in these toilets. Never mind. We got We got our water source, boys. At least until the water goes out. There's a solar panel in here. I checked most of these storage units. Already. Uh, when I was setting everything up. Like, this one with just dumpsters in it. Should be nice if we need to actually, like, dispose of anything. Come on, where's the dang old light switch? It was just here. There we go. We'll definitely take those. Oh, I think I will actually throw that pipe wrench on the belt and we will take those for now. Good to have a backup weapon, you know? Oh, yes. Diner furniture. <laughs> And then this one with just a couple cots, a microwave, and a TV. Alright. And then this one down here has a bunch of fridges and stuff in it. The dang light on. So there's actually quite a bit of food just in here. So we should actually... In retrospect, uh, eat all this stuff first. Crystal Pepsi, before things in the fridges start going bad. We do need to take in more calories, so let's get to eating. We don't want to fall behind on our uh, body weight and end up being... Stuck underweight. Come on now, just ate a whole bowl of rice. Alright, well we equalized it at least. There's some uncooked stuff. Ice cream. Some more random stuff in here. I don't know who was storing their food in a storage unit, but... Thanks. Much appreciated. This will sustain me. Right, let's lead him well away from our. Uh... What are you doing? Follow me, you dingus. Oh, hello. We have lots of friends today. They busted out of there. Alright, well. Holy moly. Alright. This could be bad. We're gonna fight him, we can only take a couple at a time. At most. Okay, if they want to do the conga line. The 
But we'll do the Coggle. Oh, but wait, there's more. All right, if I want to conga line him, I should probably conga line him. Maybe this way. Get dodged, idiot. Yeah, this is not looking good for us. How many freaking zombies were in that place, man? Shit. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. about maintenance still right now, game. are gonna give why weapons or my endurance are gonna give out long before that group of zombies does unfortunately so we need to be looking at our uh, expel plan Boy, yeah, uh, I've attracted a crowd. See if we can shake them. It is dark. I can't see shit. And we're in thick vegetation. So hopefully, keyword hopefully, be able to lose them. Start circling our way back a little bit. Shit, I hear zombies. The woods are a great place to try and lose the zombies. But I don't want to fight them in the woods. Especially in the dense vegetation here where uh, even when it's light out you can't see shit. I 
are still all over this place. Well, if we're gonna thin this out. This is how it's gonna have to be one, one, two at a time. I didn't realize there was a massive freaking group of them out there. No, you don't. You ain't sneaking up on me like that. sneaking up on me like that. Right, let's see if we can just pull a few of them out here. Yeah, come here. is actually headed over here. Excellent. Yeah, one at a time. This is perfect. This is how we thin them out. This is how we conquer. One Zamboni at a time. Come on over, join the pile. Everybody back in the pile. Some too, buddy. All right. Oh, I knew there was one more coming up, coming down this way. Come on over. Right over here. It's right here. Yeah, right, right here in front of me. Oh, flubbed it. All right, saved it. Looking a little better over here. See if we can sidle on up to this guy unheard. And give him a little whack. Give him a little whack, maybe. Maybe leave him a little bonk. Like that. Up, up, up. Two seconds ago, I looked down that road and there was no zombies coming this way.
Every time I get one down on the ground, the other ones swarm me. Don't you talk to me, zombie. You're not allowed to talk. It's like the just like the dumpster crackheads that would fight me for the trash. Eh, you're not allowed to talk. No, you don't. You don't bite me. No. Bad. Bad crackheads. Alright. Alright, alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. up all the durability of my door opening tool, but oh, we're getting tired, that's the issue. Like physically tired, not sleepy tired. Alright, time for another X fill. We might have to go out into the woods again. Oh, this is a grocery store. We can slip out through the back here. We don't have time to be looting it right now. We ha we only got time to scoot on out of here. Oh, this is this place. All right. Well. Won't be able to loot it yet, because, you know. Zombies. Damn it, they've encroached upon the borders of my storage unit kingdom. Can't let him follow me here. Time for a well-deserved smoke break. Probably grab something to eat, too. We're gonna keep try and keep it quiet. Go ahead and have some peanuts. Some peanuts. And some salt and vinegar chips. The, just the noisiest foods possible. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna let him sit and take a rest. Okay, good. Rest it back up.
We can now we gotta clear these bastards out. I make my stand. Live, bitch. These damn crackheads can't stop me. I've got a pipe wrench. Man, fentanyl's got everybody going crazy. chewing on over here. Huh? Oh, this is just open side? Why did I even need to bother? Freaking plowing through that door then with a crowbar earlier. <coughs> plowing through. Prying open. Brain. Brain why? Right. Oh, hello, sir. No way I'm going to be able to dispose of all those bodies right now. So we're just going to have to kind of clear them out as they come and once we can. Alright, first wash all of our hobo clothes in the toilet and then wash ourselves in the toilet. Go ahead and uh, refill our canteen that, we, that we've been drinking out of from the toilet once again. Okay. Let's lure this guy out of here to the pile. Yep. Come with me, sir. on that body let's get him off of there lure him out and then we'll move that corpse All right, fuck it. oh there's three corpses here oh well We 
can't be having them just uh, chilling literally right in front of our storage unit. At least this way the corpses, uh... Corpses will be at least corpse piles that the zombies are attracted to. Will be at least a little bit away from my, you know, front freaking door. <sighs> Morio. Turn into a absolute massacre real quick. Painkillers. We'll take them. Now, as I was saying, let's move those corpses at least away from my front door a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit before I can actually fortify this place at all. So our best defense right now is just, even if it's in vain, attempting to keep them away from, or from in here. All right. Good, 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 good. Now, what was I doing before I was so rudely interrupted? We should probably eat. Man's needs to eat. A whole bag of Fritos. <laughs> That'll get your calories up, buddy. Oh, you just ate like 1,500 calories and it still says no? You're still losing, losing dang old weight? Well, you want to have a granola bar too then. Shit, I forgot that we're... Ah, see, yep, they're coming over here anyways, damn it. Alright, little bastards. I've had my snack, now I'm ready to kill. Come in, come into my warehouse of death. one of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't mind me just pulping my crackhead. Right. Come on, little bastards. Perish already. Oh, this one's still alive. Anything juicy on any of you bastards? Huh? No, of course not. Of course not. Of course it's all in... It's all in vain. It doesn't help that we're freaking exhausted, tired. And most likely, yep, on the verge of hunger again. So let's actually hop down to the fridge zone. Eat, eat a couple peers. Oh god, game, please don't freeze. <laughs> there we go, we had our first crash. <laughs> Apparently trying to eat a eat a pier was too much for uh was too damn much for it we're gonna as long as I keep remembering to we're gonna keep uh eating them damn foods that are fresh in there and, well, I think that was enough progress for one day. I just wanted to get back from that crash and make sure that we were good. We're going to go ahead and let old, old bad luck Chuck get some sleep. He's earned it. He's definitely earned it. And that is going to be... Our first little go round with uh old bad luck Chuck being homeless in the apocalypse. Thanks everybody for coming by. Be sure to leave a like, maybe even a comment, maybe even subscribe, and we will be back with more Zomboid and more Star Sector soon. Have a good one. Bye bye.